roll call. Because it looks like some people who are not, you know, so we, they, 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 they will call the name of the club and then, and then we'll have proper, proper, proper record. That Kotoko voted for it, has voted for it, the team voted for it. Yeah, we'll have the record. All right, Mr. Asante, please let's have the vote by roll call. Mr. President, please, we are going to do the voting by Roko. So when I mention the club, then you raise your hands. Let's go on. <laughs> okay, hello, please let's go on. Asante Kotoko. Okay. Mediama. Karela. Interlight. Accra has a folk. Ashanti Gold. is saying that if one person stands up, it's one. delegates present and voting. Isn't that the language in the statute? Present and voting. Is that club? And they have two delegates for each club in Premier. So there should be two people to stand up. Hey. Ms. Abbey, the, the Congress, the Congress here is the delegates here present. Okay? If we are taking a vote, the vote, the vote is by the delegates here present. Not the delegates who were supposed to be here but didn't show up. So we are going so Okay? So what did you have? The delegates. Yeah, you have voted by delegates here present. Okay, hello members. So are we agreeing to if two stands up, two or one? 
whatever I want to do. Mm -hmm. Whatever I want to do. No, let me explain to you. We are 124 because we explained that because of the caste, we have 123 delegates because here who can vote. Because of the caste ruling, Far Rangers is here making the body 124. So 124 people can vote no. for this. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. So you want 123 to vote? Okay. Okay. Okay, please, so let's start. Asante Kotoko. Mediama. Karela. Interlines. Hello, hello, hello. It's who on? House of Folk. Ashanti Gold. Ashanti Gold. Break room, Chelsea. Uh, hello. 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 Uh, I'll disturb the Congress. Bechem United. They are talking about 124. <laughs> you don't want me to sit down, eh? Ediana. Only Pama can order me. Only Pama can order Wafa. Pama. You have to sit down. Wow, stars. <laughs> Elmina Sharks. <laughs> Eleven Wonders. <laughs> Liberty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it does. Dreams. Dwarfs. Real Tamil United. Mm. Tamale City. One. Steadfast. One. Paga Kokoda. One. Wasunta. One. Kintampo. One. Tachiman City. Bofakwa, BA United, One. Unity, Inswatremai, Young Apostles, One. Nia Salamina, Breku Arsenal, Bewa FC, Breku Arsenal, Bewa FC, Inkranza Warriors. New Edubiasi, Gold Stars, Achekin, Deportivo, BYF, Kimfesa, Pacific Heroes, Samatex, Star Madrid, Enzima Kotoko, Vipers, Sky, Proud United, Second D Hazakes, Unistar, Swedro All Blacks, Heart of Lions, Weavers, Temayuf, Amidaos, Dan Bot, Accra Lions, Ochiman Planets, Kotoku Royals, FC Nanya, Great Olympics, Sporting Mirren, Mighty Jets, Uncle T, Crystal Palace, Vision FC, 
Accra Young Wines. Now the are refers. Easton. Westin. Westin. Central. Greater Accra. Novin. Upper East, Upper West, Volta. Two. Two. Yeah, two. Brong Ahafo. Three. Ashanti. Women football. Referees. Schools and colleges. Juvenile football. Players Association. Tertiary institutions. Security services. And finally, Coaches Association. Thank you. 
One name was not mentioned. We want to correct that. And then we call and then they can vote. Fire Rangers. It's voted. Thank you. Uh, opposition of our status. We have 123 members with 48 Division 1 clubs. From what you are telling us now, we are going to have about 49 Division 1 clubs, which, of course, is not in, is, it doesn't make, it's alien to some of us. So it is alien because we have 48 Division 1 clubs. Now, who stays and who goes out? Because Congress has not taken a decision on that. Mm. Mr. President, may I remind you? that this is an extraordinary Congress. And as such, the item on the agenda is the sole item right. for discussion. Mistake taken, okay. withdraw that. Thank you. Delegates, thank you for the voting. We have 115 yes votes supporting adoption of the statutes. So the motion is carried. Thank you. It's more than 75%, so it's carried. Now we move to the adoption of the election regulations, which we have also tabled to you. Um, it's also approved by FIFA. If there are no objections, can somebody move the motion for the adoption, please? Amino, Amino. Make a motion. Make a mic, please. We move for adoption of the election. Make a mic, please. Can somebody support, please? Second that. Yeah. Okay. It's seconded. I think this one can we do by show of hands or we have to do roll call? Okay. Please, by show of hands and acclamation. Support. Motion carried. Accepted. All right, so we've come to the closing remarks of me. I think, as they say, important things to arrive at, you have to jump over certain hurdles. We started this calmly, then passion rose because of the love we all have for the game. Suggestions were made. That made sense to all of us. We took some recess. The guys went and deliberated, came back with a sensible, positive reaction for the adoption of the statutes 
placed in front of you. On behalf of the Normalization Committee and FIFA, the GFA Secretariat, and on my own behalf, we thank all of you deeply. Now, one critical aspect of the normalization process has been done. With your co cooperation and having acclaimed it a few minutes ago. The next steps is to organize ourselves for the other very, even more important, is to elect a new Congress, new Executive Council, and a new President. The people in whose hands the future of Ghana football is going to be placed. What I want to say at this point, all of them, we will then issue the election roadmap, the forms you have to, and guidelines, the forms you have to collect, the fees you have to pay, the time period within which you have to present your documents, and all of that. Now we are going to use, having adopted these statutes, from today, these are the Ghana Football Association statutes. In conjunction of this and the elections regulations, the steps to take to elect our new GFA administration are contained in these two documents. We we'll summarize the key points as a roadmap for all of us. I thank all of you. I thank FIFA. I thank my colleagues. I thank the GFA Secretariat who have worked around the clock to get this Congress organized. We thank the President of Ghana. We thank the hierarchy of FIFA. May God bless our aspirations to create a strong, healthy, profitable Ghana football enterprise. Thank you. Um, I think before we close, we have a short announcement to make. And uh, have some lunch. And also... And also... Delegates who are supposed to be giving TNT, please just stay back here. You will be dealt with. Yeah, all inclusive. All inclusive, don't worry. Mm -hmm. So at this point, Mr. President. Thank you very much for staying here with us live on the Joy News channel uh, at this extraordinary Congress of the Ghana Football Association's Normalization Committee. Well, uh, Congress, which is the highest decision-making body, has taken a decision, and that decision we'll be discussing in a few moments. It's been uh, long hours of deliberations. Uh, at a certain point, there were disagreements, but finally we've arrived at this point. My name is Nathaniel Atto. I'm here, as usual, with George Addo Jr. Um, on your uh, left. Right. On your right, and, uh, and uh, Gary Al Smith uh, on your left. Uh, gentlemen, uh, thank you very much once again. Um, finally, the football family has arrived at the decision. Now, uh, Gary, can you quickly give me what the details were, uh, you know, for, for arriving at this decision? So, the reason why we came here today was that there were um, draft proposals for statues that will take Ghana football into the new era. They came here to deliberate and to agree or disagree. At this time, it has been agreed upon. 
all the statutes of the normalization committee have been agreed upon. A voting block of 123, the electoral college, that it was what it was. 115 passed it. And so we have a majority. Now we can move forward. 115 agreed out of the 123. And of course, the 115 represents that 75%, or which more. is always uh, Required, sought yeah. when such key decisions are taken. Now, immediately, we're looking at the future. The future which uh, you uh, earlier discussed with Lepura, MND Jawula. Over here in the morning, we actually saw little bits of it um, in subtle ways where people uh, were you know, touching base with the people whom they identify with. And I'm talking about the people who have put themselves forward um, you know, or have announced their intentions to contest for the, the uh, presidency eventually, George. Yeah, yeah not, but I'm very excited. They've, they've, they are, at least we're going to move forward from one place to another. But even more importantly, I will be looking out for what happens with the regional football associations. And I think those RFA elections are as crucial as the GFA elections. So I know we're going to be talking a lot about who wants to be the GFA president, who is going in, the campaigning and all. But I think that a lot of emphasis must be placed on what happens at the regional level. Because once we get it wrong at the regional level, it doesn't matter who actually is the GFA president. Now, um, in, in all of the discussions we've had so far, Gary, do you get the sense of realization of value on the part of the people who are running these regional FAs, the kind of constituencies they have and what they can actually make in terms of churning out resources, attracting sponsorship and all of that. Do these people really understand, you know, what they have and the kind of job description they have? Understanding, yes. I think they fully, 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 200% understand what it is they have to do. Having the political will to actually do what they have to do is another thing altogether. Well, um, we will be doing some more as we go along, but uh, remember that we are going to be giving you some more reactions. And of course, um, Aman uh, Benedict Owusu is also on the ground. Uh, we'll be giving you some reactions from some of the delegates here. And you have to follow us for our, our, our coverage and uh, post reactions as well on our subsequent programming uh, on television, on radio, and online. George. Obviously, the kind of end that we're looking for, we've been looking for all morning. Certainly, and I think it's good to know that Ghana football can move from here. Okay, so um, what we are looking forward to a notice for um, uh, an, an elective congress that will take place um, at a certain uh, a prescribed date. So. Um, thank you very much for staying here with us on this continuous coverage of the Ghana FA's uh, elective congress. What was expected from morning is what exactly has happened. Uh, the, the whole uh, body has unanimously approved, uh, you know, the, or unanimously voted in favor of uh, approving the statutes. It will be forwarded to FIFA and the, the needed paperwork will be done after which um, a date so by a majority, 115 years votes representing 75% of the Ghana Football Association Congress, um, the normalization committee's tabled um, review statute has been adopted. It paves the way for an elective Congress to be convened to elect the next Ghana Football Association administration. It's been a long road, but one major hurdle has been cleared. And that is what we've been covering for you here on join news throughout the day the ghana football association's extraordinary congress the breaking news is that the um, fa's congress has adopted the nc's review statute that it tabled before it and so the next step is what i mentioned that an elective congress